Brought man accused of leaving his six-month-old baby in a hot car was in court today. Police say 33-year-old Brian Paveo left his baby to do some shopping for groceries. News aides Tina Detail was in the courtroom today. She also spoke to a doctor who broke down for us just how dangerous it really is to leave your children in the car. We're sitting in an air-conditioned car right now, and as you can see, the temperature is 68 degrees. But just wait until we get out and leave that thermometer right in the car. It didn't take long before that temperature to rise to unsafe levels. Just minutes later, 101 degrees. There were 44 cases of children dying in heated cars last year in the United States. Most children were under one and most situations were unintentional. 33-year-old Brian Paveo told police Tuesday he left his six-month-old daughter in the car when he went into this new London supermarket because he was texting and forgot her. The seriousness of this charge and you know, what could have happened. Police reports indicate the infant was crying and visibly wet from what appeared to be sweat, which means things could have turned much worse moments later in the 130 degree car. Once they stop sweating, once they go into that uh, uh, stage where they're unable to cool themselves efficiently, um, and within a matter of minutes, they can have a core temperature spike and take them well up over 104, 105 degrees. And, and that could lead to heat stroke, seizures, and worse. You start to see failure um, of the cardiac system. Um, you start to see a failure of the pulmonary system. Injuries and deaths, which are preventable. Um, people are generally forgetting to check the back seat, um, and it's just an error on their part. So what we remind people is that, you know, be um, cautious and always check the back seat. Another way to keep children safe, if you're walking by a car and you do notice a child inside, do what the people did here in this parking lot on Tuesday. Call police. Seconds often count. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.